What is KATE? KATE stands for K Competitive Autoencoder for Text. It is a new network based model especially designed for text analytics. It is capable of learning document representations, word representations, as well as topics from unstructured text in an unsupervised manner. Let's first see what is an autoencoder. An autoencoder is a new network which consists of an encoder and a decoder. Look at this example. Given a document, we first map the text into the bag of words representation. Then the bag of words representation will go through an encoder and be mapped into a low-dimensional embedding space. The decoder then tries to reconstruct the bag of words representation from the squashed embedding. Texture data is challenging as it typically follows power law distribution, which means a few very frequent words dominate the text. As a result, traditional autoencoders often end in only extracting trivial patterns which are not distinct from one another and are dominated by a few frequent words. This becomes the biggest obstruction of applying autoencoders on text. We solve the problem by introducing competition into an autoencoder. Specifically, we force neurons in the hidden layer to compete for the right to respond to a subset of the input data. As a result, the specialization of each neuron in the hidden layer is increased and the diverse patterns are able to be discovered. Look at this example. In each step of feedforward, winner neurons will take away the energy of the remaining loser neurons and those loser neurons will be further made inactive. Let's see some interesting experimental results. Here we show the PC projections of document representations learned by various models taken from the six main groups in the 20 years group dataset. Kate automatically clusters related documents in the same group and it can easily distinguish the six different groups. The effectiveness of learned document representations has also been verified in several downstream tasks including document classification, regression and retrieval. Here we examine topics learned by various models from the 20 news groups dataset. Kata generates topics that are distinct from each other and which can capture the underlying semantics very well. Besides document representations and the topics, Kata can also learn meaningful word representations. If you are interested in more details, please stay tuned at KDD17. Thanks for watching.